Now that the wipe has officially been confirmed for December 27th, 2023, I think that it's time I give you my secrets on how I start my wipes in order to have a successful start to a fresh Escape from Tarkov wipe. The start to a wipe, in my opinion, is extremely important and can set the tone for the rest of the coming months of playing the game. So this video is going to be a bunch of tips that I personally have learned throughout the years of playing that help me survive more, progress faster, and just get ahead of the curve compared to other players who are making easy mistakes. So strap in and let's get into the video. The very first thing that I do when loading into a new wipe is immediately examine any items that are undiscovered. The reason that I do this is because when you examine things, you get XP. This experience might not seem like it's much, but for being level 1, it adds up quickly. In fact, you should actually be able to get to level 2 just by examining the things on all the traders as soon as you load in. Don't forget to do fence and always hit the refresh on him just to see if there's any more items you can examine. You might be asking yourself why is this important? Well my sweet little Timmies, getting to level 2 unlocks an important quest called Introduction. And when you get this quest, it is used to unlock the trader Jaeger. So that brings me to my main purpose in all of this, and that is being level 2 and getting that quest unlocked means that you can get right into woods on your first raid and get Jaeger unlocked. This is extremely important and you will already be ahead of the curve as most people will do their first raid to get to level 2, then do the introduction quest to unlock Jaeger. But if you do it the way I said, you will kind of already be a raid ahead of most people. Once you get going and start accumulating loot, you are eventually going to run out of space in your hideout and you're going to want to start selling some items. Well that is one big mistake that most people make early on, which I will fix for you right now. Do not sell anything early on without looking up if those items will be needed for a quest later on. You can look up on the wiki or screenshot this image right here to find out what items you need and how many of each items you need. This is extremely important because it will save you so much time and headache later on trying to search for items that you already had and then sold just to save some space in your stash. Trust me, don't sell anything unless you're sure you don't need it for a quest later on. My next piece of advice is don't spend money on anything before you buy a scab junk box. Yes, this can be difficult depending on if you die and you need to buy some gear, but the scab junk box should be your first major investment at the start of a new wipe. It's only about 1 million rubles and will be well worth it. This saves you so much stash space and will allow you to hoard quest items easier. The next question you probably have is, 1 million rubles for the scab junk box? How can I get that without selling any of these items I'm hoarding for quests later on? Well, that is simple. Once you mark down which items you already have for your quest, then you can start selling those items for money. Or, one thing that I do to make up for that money is selling guns and attachments. Doing that will add up quickly and you can get that scab junk box faster than you think. The key is to try not to spend any money on unnecessary things until then. Okay, all those tips were just advice for the stash and traders. Now let's talk about being in a raid and how you can perform better on wipe day. The first and best piece of advice that I can give for wipe day is walk more than you run. Walking makes a lot less noise than sprinting does, and that noise is something that will get you killed or at least put you at a disadvantage because people will know where you are before you know where they are. So take your time going around the map, and you'll be surprised with how much more you'll be able to hear others before they hear you. Something as little as that will increase your survival chances more than you think. Another thing that has helped me is bringing more mags and ammo than I normally would. You will be shooting bad ammo and guns with a ton of recoil, which means people are going to be eating your bullets and you're probably going to be missing a lot of shots. So being able to get into a gunfight and not have to worry about running out of ammo and packing your mags is a blessing that often goes unnoticed. Just bring one or two extra mags than you normally would and you should be alright. Speaking of getting into gunfights early wipe, the best advice that I can give is to prioritize your survival over loot. Yes, I know, greed always gets the best of us, but if you do manage to kill somebody, then oftentimes it's not worth it to loot those players unless you are in a safe area where there can't be any third parties. The gear that people are using is going to be low tier and it's not going to be something that you want to take for many reasons. Being overweight, you need room for quest items and so on. So before jumping on a body, think is it worth it to search his body only to die in the process? In most cases it's not. But if you do want to loot them, then try and drop your backpack and take theirs and take it into a more secure location to loot. But even then I would say it's probably not worth your time in most cases. Another piece of advice for gunfights is you don't always have to stay and win the fight. You can just run away and go a different direction, heal up, and leave the fight. Especially if you have a quest item on you and you need to get out to turn that in. In most cases, just pass a grenade, lay down some cover fire, and go the opposite direction. Despite what some people think, it is actually okay to retreat during a fight in this game. If you listen carefully, you might have already been able to figure out my next tip, and that is to ensure your armor and gear. 
The reason that I think insurance is worth it early on in a wipe is because nobody has room for it or any desire to take your gear for the first couple weeks of a wipe. You become overweight and it's not really necessary to take gear unless it's high tier armor or a rig. Well, I hope that these tips can help some of you guys out starting this wipe to get you off on the right foot. If you managed to make it all this way to the end, be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you want to see more Tarkov content. Also, I do plan on streaming on wipe day, December 27th, over on Twitch, so be sure to come hang out while we progress to another wipe. Thank you all for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next one.